Hey guys, Togui here, and today I have a uh, showdown match uh, with my friend Bolton Bombers. Hey everyone. And we're going to be doing a joint battle where we're on the same account, controlling the same team, and today we're just going to do random battles, so. So, uh, I don't think many people know about this, and it's a really cool idea, and it's a kind of like a little loophole that many people have found in the system. And if you manage to get people get two people on the same account it can be either really hectic or uh really interesting so let's just see how this goes hopefully we'll get some laughs out of this after uh, screwing up our moves a million times and up oh, and he goes into tyrantrum i mean this and, thing uh, has pretty bad special def oh and we get the parahax because of serene grace that's nice uh, uh I, I click psychic come on to the death drop nice paralyzed fully paralyzed <laughs> Uh, so we're both controlling the same account, so when we put in moves... It's just whichever uh, one responds first to the system. And of course, thanks to showdown lag, it's not necessarily whoever clicks first. It's just... Basically up to luck, which is what... A lot of showdown is. <laughs> ...metagame hates, is the luck. It's what everyone has come to love and hate about Pokemon. Uh, not moody. Apparently. <laughs> no love for Moody? No, not really. I, you're not gonna like these psychics. Wait, but what can he- It, it can't Shadow Ball. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know what he's trying to do here. I, I click Psychic. Yeah, I click Calm Mind. <laughs> what, kind of, what kind of play is that? <laughs> uh, another one, maybe? No, he's gonna have the knockoff. Good point. Or he might have Haze. They learned that. Haze? It resets all the stat changes. Yeah, I know, but like... Haze? You never know. He went for Shadow Ball, though. Okay, that kind of shows how much... That kind of shows the player he is. Oh, he still... He lived, and he has HP fighting. And that did... 7%. Negligible. <laughs> uh, Hyper voice! <laughs> yes! Oh, I went for Calm Mind. Uh, well... Well, now we go for Hyper Voice. In in before Shadow Ball. <laughs> no, he's definitely going for Knock Off. We're only four levels lower. Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, oh of, of course. course. I mean, that's only fair with the power hacks that we got. But we, well, we have Serene Grace. He has Levitate. We have that's a reset. True. But then again, he did get fully paralyzed that same turn. So I mean, fair enough. Turn after getting paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. So for whatever reason, uh, when we were making our joint account, it took us forever to make a name for it because I I'm pretty sure people have just made a million names on Showdown. Um, and, oh, this Xerneas just can't do anything to us. Meloetta has ridiculous special defense. That did nothing. And we are not getting paralyzed at all. Nice. And I jinxed it, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he could go into... Oh, uh, what can he do? I mean, we have really bad physical defense, but... Hyper voice, I guess. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and I guess now just psychic spam for the win. Sure. Yeah, psychic because he doesn't he doesn't have a dark type. You there, should... there you go. Made a smart play. So uh, you were saying about picking a name? How we're having trouble? Yeah, we just we just we tried to come up with with a lot of stupid ideas, but apparently other people had thought of those already. Yeah, things like, and uh, you can't have to, oh. try to sub at exactly 25%. Welcome to the bottom of the ladder, everybody. That's what happens when you have to make a new account. But, I don't know, it, it makes things it makes uh, things so they don't be super serious, which is nice. Yeah. <laughs> have we not sent in any of our other Pokemon yet? No, we've just been sweeping with Meloetta at this point, and we haven't gotten paralyzed at all. Yeah, I was just gonna say, I don't <laughs> think we have, looking back. Aw, oh, there we go, we jinxed it. <laughs> oh. Hey, pointless turn, except leftovers recovery for us, so good turn. And there we go. Rantrum. Uh, if they had, like, let's say, is there a Dark Ghost type? Uh, Dark Okay, come on. Really, man? Oh, that that's that's bad. What, why did you go... go for... Oh, okay. That, that was a good move. That was a good play. And we keep getting paralyzed now to make up for all those things. 
Uh, dark. Is there one? Because that would that would theoretically warm the weather. I don't think there is. That would I'm be pretty good. sure Hoopa is psychic ghost. Hello, knock off. Yeah, I know. Volcanion uh, pretty cool. Has a pretty cool typing. Fire water. Yeah, and it has a water absorb. It does. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. So it 100% walls Azumaro. <laughs> and it has a 130 base power scald. Yeah, that <laughs> is a pretty good attack. But besides that, its move pool is pretty crappy. I was taking a look at the Saturday page for it. Does it get like a fire? Well, I'm, I would assume it gets fire blast. Yeah, it does. Hyper voice. Well, and that hidden power fighting for a nice 6%. And that was a 6 0 Meloetta sweep. Unfortunately, we didn't get to show off any of the other five Pokemon we got with like, any of their odd movesets that the random battles might have given us. So, let's find another one. And I didn't even click look for battle. Uh, yeah, I did. Or, or Zygarde. Yeah. Thankfully, we didn't have All right, to we have a Regiice versus a Politoed. Is that uh, a shiny Regiice? No, It no. looks like a... I don't know. I guess I haven't seen it. Well, yet. this is a really weird set. We have Rest, Sleep Talk, and Ice Beam. Uh, and Rock Polish. And Rock Polish. Yeah. Uh, uh, let's go into Moongus. Yeah. Good choice. Okay. There, there we go. Uh... I was gonna say, if if uh, Random Battles gave us a Moongus without Spore, that would have been disappointing. Just turning on the timer. That's. Again. That's. Damn it, Sam! Now he's gonna kill us. <laughs> Go uh, in. Uh. I, no. I went to Reggie Ice. I didn't even click anything. What? The, oh, okay. Crap. Uh, uh, Ice Beam! Oh, right, all the right. Wait, but he has the rain up. Nice. Ooh, and oh, and the Freeze Axe! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's why why good. do we have a mono attacking. Oh, yep. oh right, because there aren't a lot of fire moves on Thaw You. Uh, or is it just. <laughs> What's the chance of that happening? Pretty low. Ice Beam, I would assume, is 10%. 10% chance of freeze, I just looked. And wow, that, that's ridiculous. And we just hacked the Reshiram to death because he stuck with his own reign. I mean, he couldn't do much, even though Reggie Ice has pretty crappy defenses, he couldn't do much because he had the reign up. Right. Finish your sentence, it's what? Is it okay, or? Well, no, there's no apostrophe, so he's using the other, it's. Hey, it's another Kafagrugus. That was a crit, yeah. Oh, and this the death drop. Mm. Let's see. I went for ice beam. Same. So I wonder what we're gonna end up doing this turn. <laughs> uh, we're dope. Oh, okay, and he forfeits. So it's a forfeit. That's what it is. All right. Look for another battle. Yep. Uh, oh, and there we are. Tyler. Ooh. That Pikachu. Ooh, ooh, sweet. Got, we got a Crestal. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, let's shell smash. Nice. No! He's gonna punch us! No! Oh. <laughs> I saw that one coming. <laughs> let's go on Chestnut. Yeah. That did nothing. Uh, let's Leech Seed. No! Damn it, Chestnut! Why do you do this? Ah. Uh. At least we hit it this time. Exactly. Let's go into Gudra. That's what I was about to click. I was just checking out its moveset before that. Is it good? Uh, I have no clue. I didn't get a chance to read it all. It's not terrible. Uh, let's go for... What did um, you go for? Okay. okay. Oh, right. Just like that other will o Pyro we saw earlier. I guess just another one of these. Uh, okay. Oh. All right. Why did he go into Ditto to copy 
our minus two special attack. I have no clue. We can drag him till him out. Ooh, ouch. <laughs> the hacks has been crazy so far. Uh, does Ditto untransform there? Yeah, it always untransforms when it switches out. I haven't actually fought one before, so. That's alright. Freeze? No. Yeah, of oh, course. that was a crit, so. Oh, I was in a random battle earlier and I got um, a Serene Grace Blissey. I went for Ice Beam three times. I didn't get the freeze. So sad. Like, I could have gone for Toxic, but I wanted to try off the novelty of just Serene Grace Ice Beam. And it still failed. Yup. So sad, Song. And just waiting on this showdown lag. Here we go. Come on, Freeze. Nope. Of course he gets two crits in a row. My goodness. Uh, well, maybe it's super luck. Oh, that, that, that could be a possibility, too. Because we haven't... Oh, well, I was going to say we haven't flinched, but we're faster than it for whatever reason. We are four levels higher, so... I mean, I don't know. I, I thought Gucci was pretty slow. It's got, what, base 80 speed? I have no clue. That's a pretty weird name this guy has. Tyler, Dat Pikachu. Maybe Dat Pikachu is uh, the username or something. And Tyler's his real name. Yeah. Whatever. Too bad, my real name is Bryson Man. Nice. Is that beautiful sprite? The fabulous green cape. I actually completed all the Pokestar Studio movies in black, too. <laughs> you really, they took, were actually, they you were really took the fun. time to do that? Yeah, I, I found it pretty fun. It gets you uh, one of the stars on the trainer card for completing the oh, final cool. movie. And you actually get a ton of money once you uh, get to a certain point in how much... Well, you don't actually get the money, but like once you've grossed a certain amount of money, although you don't actually get any profits, you can, like, be people afterwards. You have fans who will give you free items. Like, you can get a lot of free lemonades or moo moo milks and rare candies and stuff. So just by doing that, I ended up with, like, 200 lemonades. That are totally useful. They... That are totally useful after you've beaten the four. Well, I mean, they were useful playing through the game normally. Fair enough. So it looks like this guy might just time her out on us, or he left the game. Uh, so I really don't know. Oh. Okay, yep. Waiting. See, see, half the time when I see a new message pop up on the chat, I'm used to it's being the other person, but, you know. It's you typing. Crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Indeed. Do you think Aegislash is going to get banned from OU? I don't know. I mean, when I was looking through the, uh, the thread about it, it seemed like a lot of people were supporting the ban. Um, I mean... From someone who doesn't exactly understand the situation's uh, viewpoint, it may seem like really dumb. But when you really think about it, when you really think about the details, it makes a lot of sense. It forces so. <laughs> it finished counting down. I just figured, yeah. <laughs> uh, it forces so many fifty fifties. It has a ridiculously good typing. It has pseudo uh, base seven hundred and twenty stats, and. Uh, King's Shield is a little bit of a, a broken move, um, but even though it can be played around, like, so many physical attackers have to run Earthquake just for that one Pokemon to avoid the King's Shield drop. Uh, yeah, I can see... What? Oh, that was weird. Yeah, it, I it just... I can see it uh, happening for a similar reason to uh, Mega Lucario, just because there's so many different things it can run that it's hard to predict. Exactly, and because there's, like, the, uh... five different Aegislash sets. That are e even though one is the most common, there are five different ones that, oh, you bring in this to counter it, but then this other Aegis Slash set counters that. So, right. It's, it's you're right. It's similar to the Claro situation. Uh, especially with King Shield, all the uh, mind games you have to play with that thing. Exactly, because it's like one person thinking, should I attack, predicting them to go for the King Shield or. Oh, right. We lost our Focus Ash from the Sandstorm. I have read him. Uh, that's kind Elio? of... Yeah. yeah. It actually has a good boost set. 
Hidden Power, um, Hidden Power Electric isn't bad on Keldeo for uh, mm. to hit Azumarill's. Nice with the Secret Sword. Yep. Um, yeah, so we're sitting with the 50-50s with the King Shield and stuff. Yeah, so the, it's just with all the... All right. Well, I Mo guess. Moving on. Uh, one more? Yep, one more. We've been going for 19 minutes now, so... Uh, do, do, do. Not many things really switch into Rotom Frost because it has a pretty darn good uh, offensive typing. Let's go on to Jolteon. All right. With just what I was trying to say was with all the mind games with King Shield, like are they going to go for it or are they not? Because you can't uh, usually can't get it two turns in a row. Yeah. And oh, what do we even do here? I went for Signal Beam. Yeah, I guess that's all there is to do. <laughs> Uh, with all the mind games and it being 50-50 and you have to think about future turns whereas if if they don't go for it now next turn they can go for it or and... or there are some Aegis slash sets that don't run king shield at all which Ooh, nice crit but uh so it's like there's still like the fact that they could have it but they don't right so there's even more mind games saying well do they even have this move and, some... and so it's just like it gets to that point where it's uh not as bad, but similar to with, uh, say, uh, what was it? Uh, Swagger, where it's like you go into it with this 50-50 chance, like it's just a 50-50 chance. Either I'm going to win or they're going to win. Right. But and, uh, the thing about Swagger is that it takes out takes out so many skill. If you can play around an Aegis Slash, that's your skill. But the being being able to do that is pretty darn challenging at times. And it's also kind of like stopping the metagame from quote unquote evolving because it's just uh, being a roadblock for so many Pokemon like Mega Heracross or Mega Gardevoir because, you know, m most of the time steel types um, can be hit either for neutral or super effective damage with fighting moves, whereas Mega Heracross, for example, has to run Earthquake to hit it. Yeah, so personally, I think it will get banned. But a lot of people will probably butt hurt over it. <laughs> a lot. We're... If you had, if you had light screen, that would have been the better play. Maybe he doesn't, or she, whoever this is. Di See, did you hear how Diancy uh, got released, and you can use it in OU now? Yeah, uh, wasn't the? I think the Japanese event started the other day. Was it? Thursday? Yeah. It's really bad because there are so many steel types in OU. Yeah, especially since, like, everyone, since they just introduced Fairy, lots of people run it to hit dragon types. Right, and then exactly. Because of that, so many people run steel types because it's, or at least steel type moves, because it's better than using a poison type move most of the time. Right, and, unless obviously, you know, when it's stabbed on things like Mega Venusaur or whatever. But, um,. Yeah, I, I don't think it's going to stay OU. I definitely think it's going to drop down. I mean, sure, it has, on paper, it looks really good. But, um, ouch, this, it's not going to, like, um, that did nothing. Why? <laughs> because they reflect, I think. But why did you go for that? I don't know. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's a bad idea, what I just did. Uh, I went for Draco Meter. Sure, whatever. Nice crit! <laughs> uh, uh, we have the EQ. We do? Yeah, we do. I mean, we are burned, though. It'll and do something. Isn't that reflect up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that did not do something. <laughs> I think Cobalion has base 129 defense. Be between uh, Verizion, Cobalion, Terrakion, Keldeo. They all have a base 129 stat somewhere. Um, Cobalion and Verzion both have it in their defense stats, whereas Terrakion and Keldew have it in their offensive stats, which is why they're better in general. But doesn't mean the other ones are bad. Like, it would be nice, let's say, if uh, Verizion had that 129 defense, because thanks to his typing, it resists Edgequake. 
but it has a really low physical defense, so it can't take the hits all that well. Even though it has those resistances, doesn't Ex have the stats to back it up, which is exactly a problem a lot of Pokemon have to deal with. Dang. I mean, it was 12 levels higher. I thought uh, I didn't notice the levels. We have a Wish Mega Kangaskhan here. Uh, does Wish work for double healing? That would be so awesome. <laughs> I wish. Come on, has he, he's hit all of his blizzards. He's got the luck. <laughs> uh, we have... <sighs> Damn it. Dang. I wish I had that kind of luck. Yeah. This Rotom Frost is really getting onto our team. Maybe it's a... Uh... Maybe it's like zoom lens or wide lens, whatever that is, that raises accuracy. Yeah, zoom, zoom, uh, I've, one of the two. One of those items raises your accuracy if you move last, and the other one... Um, raises it, but not as much. Yeah, I think it's 1.1 1 .1 or... 1.2. Yeah, for one or the other. And before choice lens, <laughs> choice lens focus blast... <laughs> Well, that's why Special Victini is pretty cool, because you have that 91% accurate Focus Blast. Even though it's kind of a gimmick, because Physical Victini is better, because V-Create. But I guess it could be a nice surprise factor. Our Jolteon doesn't have an electric move. I know, it just has Sub Baton Pass, HP Ice, and Signal Beam. That's kind of depressing. Oh, Life Orb Luminion. Uh, why is this still here? What? There we go. Nah, uh, just it, the, uh, thing wasn't going off the screen for some reason. Okay. Maybe he'll miss Surf. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I really don't think we can win this one. I mean, maybe... Yeah, I mean, Jolteon to take out... It, Jolteon's not taking out Diancy at all. <laughs> Unless we had Hidden Power Steel. <laughs> that would be nice. Maybe we can take out the Slow King, but... I once saw in one of the discussions about Kingdra in OU that uh, that uh, they thought it was relevant enough to have Hidden Power Poison on it, specifically just for Azumarill. Uh... Well, I don't know. I, I think with the Hidden Power nerf lowering its power this generation really just makes it not as useful, maybe? Exactly, because last generation, Landorus Eye had Focus Blast as, not Focus Blast, uh, Hidden Power Ice as a necessity for coverage, but now they don't run it because there are better moves, uh, because it's dropped Even out. Even with the super effectiveness, it's yeah. not as good. Right. Like, that. that's why Mammoth Swine has incredibly good coverage between ground and ice. There's only right. there's like only two or three Pokemon that are resisted by the virtue of their typing. All right, come on, get a crit. Cough, cough, root and wash. Dang it. All right, so that was a good game, Shuppy. And yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. Uh, check out both of our channels. And uh, yeah, if you're watching this on my channel, go check out Bolton Bombers. He and does if... like lots of Pokemon stuff. And if you're watching this on my channel, go check out Togui. He does uh, Let's Plays and lots of other. Uh, really cool videos. Yep. Anyways, so, and for now, we'll see you later. All right, peace.